amazing. Our next guest is a publishing phenomenon. Now, she has brought a new magic to children's literature. But she is, uh, the thing that's interesting is she has read from everybody from 8 years old to 80. And it's a story about a young wizard named Harry Potter. And she's making Whoa. publishing history. It's a phenomenon. It is. As all three of her books are currently at the top of the New York Times bestsellers list. That's amazing. <laughs> now, this is the newest one of her books. Uh, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Would you please welcome the author, J.K. Rowling. First of all, can I call you Joanne? Uh, Joe. Call me Joe. Joe. You yeah. like Joe? Joe? Uh, why do you call yourself J.K. Rowling instead of um, Joe? That was my British publishers. They, they called me two months before publication. They said, would, would I mind if um, they used my initials? Because they felt that boys would like the book, but boys might not want to read a, a book read by, written by a girl. By a girl. By Isn't a girl. that interesting? Yeah. Well, How did that boy, make you feel? I mean, well, I, to be honest with you, I was so grateful they were publishing my book, they could have called me Enid Snodgrass. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, well, you can call me what you like. Yeah. Um, but it completely was blown out of the water, that strategy, by the fact that two months after the book was published, um, I was on television, because the book started to do very well, and then all the boys knew I was a girl, and didn't seem to matter at all, matter so at that's that. kind of... They just like the stories. That's good. Yeah. Well, you are a publishing phenomenon, as Marie said in, in the intro. I mean, you are a publisher's dream. You go from... <laughs> My here editor's here somewhere. This is you, the you're thing. a woman. Am I your dream, Arthur? There he is. <laughs> you're, you're a woman that was on welfare... Yeah. And now you are at the top of the best-selling list, New York Times best-selling list, number mm -hmm. one, number two, and number three book. How does that feel? Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm still in shock. Are you in shock? Yeah. Because when what? I hear you say it, then I think, wow, yeah. <laughs> but most of the time, um, I don't think I take it in. Because, you, you know, my wildest fantasy was that the book would be published. That was, and that's where my fantasy stopped, you mm. know. So I, I, I just fantasized about going into a bookshop and seeing it on the shelf. You, so everything that's happened has been kind of um, unexpected. Very way. surreal, almost. Very surreal. Some you say it. that you were on welfare. Did you write these books when you were on welfare at For the time? For part of the time. Most of the time. Uh, it took me five years to finish the first book. Four of those years I was working full time. One of those years I was, for nine months, a single mother on welfare. Unbelievable. Right. And then I started working again. Did you just come up with all of these? I mean, do you, do you know how it's going to continue? Yeah. Or you yeah. do? I, during those five years, I plotted all seven books. There are going to be seven Harry books in total. And I've written the final chapter of book seven. So I know exactly where I'm going. Wow. Mm -hmm. They're all written. They're not all written. No, she's They're plot all plotted. She has the end. And I have the last chapter. Tell us chapter about just Harry Potter. My... Who is he exactly? OK, so he's, he's this um, boy of 11 when the books start. And he's magic but doesn't know it. He's a wizard but doesn't know it. He finds out on his 11th birthday. That's what's um, odd about him. That's why he's been able to make all this strange stuff happen all his life. And then he goes off to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Mm -hmm. And that's where the good stuff starts happening. What kind of good stuff? Just wild stuff. Just wild. They, this is a castle full of ghosts and pictures that move and talk. And um, just a very adventurous and exciting and scary were you, place. Were you always creative as a child? All I ever wanted to do was be a writer, since really? the age of six, yeah. yeah. What, so why do you think people are so in love with Harry? Uh, it's, very, it, it's really difficult for me to answer that. I think you, know, you need to ask them, because I write these books entirely for me. This is like my little private world, and I wrote them for me. I never had any audience in mind. And uh, I, I really don't want to analyze it too much, because right. I think right. if I decide, oh, that's the formula, then I might start trying to put a bit more of factor X in the next book, you know, and I just want to keep doing it the way I'm doing it. It won't be as organic. No, exactly. Right. It would be, it Are would you be surprised very at all the success, Joe? Yep. <laughs> yeah, I'm, of course I am, because I, it was, I, this is something I never planned for. I never expected to be on the Donny and Marie show. <laughs> <laughs> Ever. So cute. No, I didn't. <laughs> you, did you like Donny when you were younger? Well, I did want to tell you that we were actually engaged, though you never knew that. <laughs> We were engaged. Yeah. Is that going to be in a future Harry Potter book? <laughs> yeah, this really bitter woman decides to, uh, to <laughs> confront you with breach <laughs> of promise. <laughs> with, with, 
with wizardry and sorceries. Yeah. You know. Hey, you know that, that, yeah. that brings up an interesting point with the wizardry, the sorceries, and, mm -hmm. and the witches and goblins, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. This book is, uh, has caused a lot of controversy with a lot of parents that they say, we Some don't want parents. our children reading these kinds of things. How do you mm -hmm. react to that? Well, for me, that's a censorship issue, and I don't like censorship. And my answer is, you, you have a perfect right, of course, as every parent does, and I'm a parent, um, to decide what your, your child is exposed to. You do not have the right to decide what everyone else's children are exposed to. So that's how I feel about that. That's good. Because I was reading, mm -hmm. I was reading the Los Angeles Times in, in the Mike Downey article. I don't know if you've read this. It says, uh, I was just beginning to appreciate this Harry Potter phenomenon when I read that certain parents don't want children reading books about witchcraft and wizardry. And it mm -hmm. goes on to say... What about the Wizard of Oz? Yeah, but he said, then we're going to have to throw out the Wizard of Oz, the Seven Dwarfs, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the uh, things like the Hobbit. We're going to have to get rid of an awful, awful like lot of children's classics. Is there a dark side to these books? There is, but there's, you know, there's... It, it's, it, they, they are basically, as, as most fantasies are, it, about the battle between good and evil. And, does, and I think does, it's perfectly clear to every child I've met, and indeed every adult I've met, whose side I'm on. Right. You know, so yes, I'm showing the darker side. You mentioned children. It's a battle. And, the, and their opinions. We're going to do something very interesting. We have some kids who are just dying to talk to you about this about this whole Harry Potter phenomenon. Okay. So when we come back, we're going to have more with Joe or JK Rowling and some of her youngest fans right after this, so don't go away. We are back with Harry Potter author J.K. Rowling, and we have here Mrs. Borquez's fourth grade class from Will Rogers Elementary School here in Los Angeles. Hello, kids! How you doing? Does it feel good to be out of school? Yeah! I don't want to hear it. <laughs> have you guys read the Harry Potter books? Yeah! Do you love them? Yeah! Okay, who, who, who's your favorite character? Um, Ron. Ron? Who is Ron? Now, Ron is... Ron's Harry's best friend. Best friend. Best yeah. friend. What about you? Harry Potter. Harry Potter, of Yay. course. I was reading it last night, Joe. I started volume three and I couldn't put it down. Who is your favorite character? Yeah, um, Harry and Ron and Hermione, the three central children. I, but I'm also very, very fond of Hagrid. Do you like, do you like, do you like Hagrid? 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 Yeah. yeah. Hagrid's the gamekeeper at the school. He's, he's kind of, he's part giant and I like him a lot. Oh, really? Yeah. Do you guys have questions? I do. You got a question? What's your question? What is the fourth book going to be? What's the fourth book going to be? What's it going to be? See, only a mommy um, could understand that. Yeah, no. that was good. <laughs> that was good. You're so cute. <laughs> he is very cute. Um, <laughs> uh, it's, I, uh, I don't want to give too much away. Um, Can you give us the title of the book? No. No? No, I'm very superstitious about giving out titles. Are you? Um, on the internet at the moment, it says it's called Harry Potter and the Quidditch World Cup. That's not true. Oh. That's a lie spread by evil wizards. <laughs> but you do see the Quidditch World Cup in book four, so that's quite an important part of it. Any more questions? You, we have a question right here, oh, too. Here What's your question? What's the seventh book going to be about? The seventh book? Mm -hmm. I can't tell you that. <laughs> I've got seven plots here. I can't mess them all up by telling you the ending. How old, can I ask you how old Harry is going to be? Yeah, he'll be 17. In book seven, he turns 17, which, so he comes of age, and then he's allowed to use magic outside school. Mm -hmm. we got another question here, Joe. How did you think of the characters' names? Oh, um, yeah, I like unusual names. You've got to be very careful about telling me your name if you've got an unusual name, because you might turn up in book six. But uh, What's I... your name? Dominique. Oh, Dominique. Nice name. I've got a very interesting alias name. Which would be what? Grandoon Farquark. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if he wears purple socks. <laughs> Do you think Grundoon could show up? And that could work, yeah, yeah. That could work. Grundoon. What yeah, is the, what I, is I collect unusual names, generally. Do we have time for one more question? One more. One more oh, here, we got right a question here. right down here. Yeah. How did Hermione get into Hogwarts if she was muggle-born? Okay, so Hermione is Harry's, one of Harry's two best friends, and her parents are normal, and normal people, as in non-magic people, are called muggles in the books, as you will all know. And uh, it's because magic can just happen. You don't have to have a witch or a wizard as a, as a parent. It can just come out of nowhere. 
like a genetic abnormality. See, this is so exciting. I can hardly wait to finish volume three. Now, let me ask you a question, too. When you talk about, you know, this controversy, you, it's almost kind of like Star Wars, isn't it? I yeah, mean, they, with the dark side and the... Parallels, yeah. Well, there'll be a movie real quickly before we go to yes. commercial. There now, will be now a movie. Who, the Warner the Brothers. rumor is who's going to direct it. Oh, I don't know. We, uh, I genuinely don't know. I'm not. I'm, okay. um, there are people. Because the rumor's going around. Steven Spielberg. Steven Spielberg. Wants to do. That's the rumor we've heard. So. I heard that rumor too. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> J.K. Rowling. The book's called Harry Potter, and the new one is called The Prince of Oz or Az. Prisoner of Azkaban. Prisoner yep. of Azkaban. Yep. Now, just so you guys know, she is going to be giving all of you a signed book. Yay. That's great. And that's for being here today. And I think. I think that it's fantastic that Joe is doing all that for you guys. It's from uh, Scholastic Books, is that right? Yeah. Joe and Scholastic Books are going to do that. Joe, thank you so much for being here. Thank you very and much. And guys, thank you very much. And tell your teacher thanks for letting you out of school. We will be right back. Right after this, don't go away. Stay tuned. There's more to come with Donnie and Marie.